Hi guys, how are you today? I've decided to start off a video series, especially for school kids, but really anyone who's interested can check out these videos and basically learn a little bit about how I problem solve and go around my life uh, experiencing things with my disability. So generally when I go and talk in schools, I allow for a question and answer session at the end. I think that is absolutely crucial. And the reason I think it's crucial is that kids all over, not just kids but adults as well, have many questions regarding my disability and how I do things, as simple as that. So today I'm going to do a few things, show you a few things about what I can do, how I do them, uh, and I really hope that I can make this a really intriguing, interesting, educational series of videos for you uh, so you can kind of learn a little bit about how being disabled doesn't necessarily mean that you, you can't do anything. So, so that's what I intend to do today and I really, really hope that you enjoy it. But to begin with, I just want to quickly talk about my new book that's just come out. Ditch the Arm, Keep the Leg. It's my autobiography. It covers my time from birth up until the end of the 2000 Paralympic Games. So it basically talks about my journey growing up, talks about my Paralympic journey, talks about the successes that I've had, and hopefully is an inspiring book and will help either you or someone you know who's really into sports or swimming or biographies. Um, to really get inspired and go out and achieve many things in their own life. So uh, you can purchase the book from www.oodlebooks.com That's O-O-D-L-E books.com So oodlebooks.com uh, Ditch the Arm, Keep the Leg by me, Elizabeth Wright. So anyway, check that out. I'm going to move on now to... The first thing that I'm going to show you today, and that is probably one of the most common questions that I get. It's fairly simple, it's fairly easy to show you, and quite simply it's, how do you hold a cup? Okay guys, you're probably wondering by now how do I hold a cup, or a mug, or something along those lines. To put it simply, I hold a cup and a mug just like you do. Obviously, I can't with my right hand because I don't have one. I'm missing half my right arm. So, no right hand, it's all left handed. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed on my left hand I'm missing a finger, and my thumb and one of my fingers is actually joined together. Wiggling it about there, as you do. So, I do get asked that question a lot how do you hold a cup or a mug? So, today I brought over my trusty cup of tea. Here it is, and I'm holding it just like you. Just like you hold your nice warming cup of tea or your nice big cold cooling drink. I hold my mug just like this. So, you know, it does depend a lot on um, the weight of things. So if it's a big jug or something like that, I can really struggle to hold on to the weight of that. But when it comes to just a cup of tea, I hold it just like this. Or sometimes I'll just have my little arm up like that just to support it. But generally, I can hold it like this and take a big sip of my beautiful cup of tea. Oh, I do love my tea. I admit that now. I love, 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 love tea. So that is that. That is how I hold a mug or a cup. So what's another common question that I get asked when it comes to what I can do with my disability? One of probably the most interesting ones that I get asked, especially from girls, is how do I do my hair? At the moment, I've got my hair out. It's kind of just long. It's, I did straighten it this morning, but the humidity is making it start to frizz up a bit more. But you know what? That's okay. Um, but I do wear my hair up in a ponytail or a bun sometimes, and I don't actually have to ask anyone to do this for me. Uh, the only thing I do struggle with with my hair is plaiting it so if I do need a plait uh, I'll ask my flatmate to do it. But you know what? Lots of people have issues with 
with plaiting. So, you know, I'm not complaining. On a hot summer's day, I can get it up in a ponytail and that's the most important thing. And I'm going to show you that right now. How do I get my hair up into a ponytail with half my right arm missing and fingers missing on my left hand? Okay, putting my hair up in a ponytail. First off, I've got my trusty brush and that can actually be another question I get about how do I brush my hair. Well, I brush my hair just like anyone else can brush their hair and hope that it's not too knotty because you know when it's knotty it can get stuck and it can hurt and whatnot but you know what there we go so I've given my hair a good long brush I'm just gonna be a little bit messy now I tend to lose so much hair I'm amazed I'm not bald actually does anyone else sometimes get like that you feel like you're losing so much hair you should have a bald spot that's the way I feel a lot of the time. But there's my hair, all brushed and all ready to put in a ponytail. So here we go. There we go guys, look, ponytail, ponytail, all done with one and a half arms. I think that is pretty damn clever. It's something that I recently taught myself how to do. I've been able to do my hair in a ponytail for about, probably about two years now. Um, and you know what, as I go along I'm getting better at it, I'm, I'm being able to make it a lot neater, you know, it sits a lot better and, you know, but it's, it's really opened up my world in, in regards to how I have my hair and, and how I wear my hair and, and um, having that choice to have long hair um, and being able to alter it in, in certain ways. So. There you go guys, I can do my hair up in a ponytail with one arm, half an arm and a finger missing and a finger and a thumb joined together. So, you know, it is possible. Things in this world are possible. All you have to do is just think creatively and work through it. And you know, eventually you will get to the point where you do figure out a way to do things. It's, it's really quite a simple process, I think, anyway. Um, okay, do you think we have time for me to show you maybe one more thing? Maybe something, uh, something simple again, a bit like the mug. Uh, when I was a little kid, I used to have this habit, and I still do it occasionally now, where I would carry my dinner plate on my little arm. Uh, a lot of people freak out when they see me do it. They think I'm going to drop the plate, but you know what? I'm going to show you how whiz bang clever at balancing my little arm actually is. So here we go. Okay, guys, I have a plate. A plate! And I'm going to balance it on this arm. Okay, so I would place my dinner on my arm, get the center balance right. Take my arm away. There we go. I'm pretty good at balancing plates on my arm. It's a shame that um, I have this talent and I'm not a waitress anywhere. I think I'd be absolutely fantastic at being a waitress and being able to carry plates out on this arm. Not so sure about this arm though. But after years and years of practice, I've been able to just balance and not even feel like I'm going to drop the plate. So, 
you know I don't suggest trying this at home kids I don't want to see <laughs> I don't want to see you kind of destroying your parents um dinner table sets and and stuff like that so please don't try this at home uh but you know what it's after years of practice it's something that I feel perfectly comfortable being able to do so so that is essentially my video for today. I've shown you three three things that I can do, uh, even though I just have one arm and, and fingers missing on, on that one hand. Uh, like I said, my disability has never stopped me from being able to do anything that, that I've wanted to do. I've always tried everything possible. Uh, you know, there's no real obstacles in life. There are only problems to solve. And hopefully these videos will not only educate you but inspire you to look at your own obstacles or problems in your own life and and you know help you think about how perhaps you can actually creatively solve them so just one last plug though for my book don't forget ditch the arm keep the leg it's available right now uh, it's 11.99 pounds uh, and you can get it at www.oodlebooks.com but I'll have that link up uh, in the information below so um, I hope you've enjoyed this video I really want to make some more uh, if there's anything that you want to know about what I can do or how I do things please just comment in comment below and um, and I will definitely get to it in some of my upcoming videos so cheers guys I'll see you later bye